Hebrews chapter 9 verses 1 through 7. Then verily the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. For there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick and the table and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded and the tables of the covenant and over it the cherubim of glory shadowing the mercy seat of which we cannot now speak particularly now when these things were thus ordained the priests went always into the first tabernacle accompanying the service of God. But into the second went the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the heirs of the people. Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a woman, and a certain woman named Martha, received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet, and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving, and came to him, and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. Luke chapter 11 verses 27 through 28 And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Amen.